DJI goggles too. I have them. And you know what? I like them, because why not? They are small, they are light, and finally DJI officially implemented the MSP display port. And that is the huge step forward. On top of that, it works with the legacy Vistas and Air units. And it even has the MSP display port OSD on the old Vistas and Air units. However, if you previously used the WTF OS to have the unofficial MSP display port, you have something of a problem. To be able to use the MSP display port on the legacy Vistas and Air units, you have to upgrade the firmware on them. And you know what? If you rooted your Vista or a unit and you installed the WTF OS on it, it ain't working. DJI FPV Assistant just fails to fetch the firmware. Luckily, there is a solution. You only have to uninstall the WTF OS and do one special magic trick. In this tutorial, let me show you how to remove the WTF OS from your Vista and Air unit and how to upgrade the firmware on your Vista or Air unit so that you can use it with the DJI goggles too. And of course, have the MSP DisplayPort OSD on it. By the way, this video was created thanks to my YouTube channel members and Patreons. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going and you are the main motivation to record more videos like this. If you're not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. The links are in the description, you know. Thanks in advance. If I would just want to install the latest firmware on the FPV A unit, Vista in this case, with the DGA Assistant, while having the WTF OS installed, this is what would happen. Cannot load firmware list, please retry. And guess what? Retry doesn't work. It's all because you have the A unit rooted and you have the WTF OS installed. So, Let's remove it. Let's go to the WTF OS configurator. Let's power up the Air unit or Vista and connect the USB cable. After the video transmitter will be connected and we will get the information over here that yeah, it's hot. I have the fan running, so it's fine. Let's remove the WTF OS by going to the WTF OS and let's hit remove. And of course, let's confirm. The removal process is much shorter than the installation and only after a few seconds it will be done and then your Air unit will reboot. But that's not all. Even although the WTF OS was removed, you do not have the access to the package manager or startup, it's not yet fully restored to the original state. If even right now you would try to flash install the the latest DGA firmware, it would fail. What we still have to do, we have to remove the ADB from the Air unit. To do it, let's go to the CLI and then let's type or paste WTF OS dash remove dash ADB and hit enter. Of course, we have to confirm that, yeah, indeed, we do want to get rid of the ADB and only after a few seconds it will be over. Now, let's power cycle to reboot and let's see if now we will be able to install the latest official DJI firmware to unblock the MSP display port with the DJI goggles too. Now, let me power this thing up and let's see if it helped. FPV Air unit detected, let's click and now after a short waiting we should see the latest firmware which is 01010000. This is the firmware you have to have to be able to use the old Air units 
and Vistas with the latest DJI Goggles 2. And yes, for now it's a one-way trip. If you will install this firmware, you gain the Goggles 2 support, but unfortunately you lose at least for now the possibility to install the WTF OS on your Air unit. Let's confirm and let's see if this thing will work. And five minutes later, it's done. Now your old Air unit or Vista can be connected to the DJI goggles too, and you can be happy using them with your new goggles, including the MSP display port. The caveta is that now the Air unit or Vista loses the possibility to connect to the previous generation of the DJI FPV goggles and to fix that problem you would have to downgrade the firmware. Luckily this is simple and to bring back the possibility to bind to the DJI FPV goggles or the DJI FPV Goggles V2, you only would have to install the 0608 firmware from the September 2022. Yes, this process is just called downgrade. I only wish there was the WTF OS for the DJI Goggles 2. Because let's be honest, the DJI have not made the best job possible of bringing the canvas mode to the goggles too. WTF OS did it better. Much better. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!